Oh, can you see how glossy? I am so happy with that contour. Look at that. Okay, cool. Dirty Whirlies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. I see you in my likes, subscribes, and comments, and it means the world. We are doing an updated makeup regime after last week's product video. And I told you about all the products that I am absolutely bringing into 2023 and that I recommend to you. I thought we'd do an updated makeup tutorial. So a lot of the products were makeup. So this is how I use those products. This is my go-to glam every time I'm going out. So obviously we're in a little hotel, a little night away, and we're going out for dinner. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity because it's what I have in my bag when I go away. I'm not just sitting there with loads of products that I can't use. That's like my go-to, what comes away with me, what will be my night out makeup, etc. You get me. So skin, eyes, everything. So these are all the products, all the products I recommended pretty much in action. And I really hope you enjoyed. Ask me any questions below. I'll link products below. And I hope you love it. And maybe in the next video we'll go into maybe more of the shower products, etc. We, we can have some fun. Doesn't matter. So I hope you enjoy. I love you so much. So my skin is cleansed, we're all clean. I got a peel yesterday, so I'm actually using like a post-treatment skin set. Do your cleanse, do all your skincare before your makeup. And we're gonna prep the skin with Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and I'm gonna add the deep bronzy drops, the drunk elephant, they're sold out everywhere. I have bought the Sculpted by Amy Liquid Lights Bronze Glow as a dupe, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'm not gonna do it in this video because this is like my, this is my regime. So that's not really my regime, but apparently it's a really good dupe. So I will test this out and let you know in my next video how it goes, but we'll do Drunk Elephant today. But apparently this is a great dupe. Anyway, so let's mix. Our Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and our Drug Elephant, I have the mini. The full size is very hard to get. We'll put two drops in there. I like to bronze the skin because I'm not wearing tan on my face at the minute because I've been getting peels done. My skin's been pretty sensitive. So I just haven't been putting tan on my face. I love putting tan on my face, but at the minute I just prefer to bronze it before my makeup. If I had tan on my face, what I, I'd probably still do this step just because, but not really a necessity. So my skin is in good condition today because of my peel. I go to Kira Darcy Skin Coach for peels and they're amazing and we're gonna start micro needling in the new year which i'm so excited about so i'll of course let you know how that goes my skin is quite touch sensitive so i do go red sometimes when i'm doing makeup but that doesn't matter just ignore it's not the products it's just if i touch my skin we get a bit red so this is like my perioral dermatitis which i'm on the antibiotic for at the minute so it'll cover up it'll be fine can you see it there she's fine it's okay we give our skin love there's no point in being mean to our skin. It's trying its best and I'm looking after it the best I can. Try not to get bronzer in your hair as well. We don't want to go orange. I'm always making my hair orange and my hair gal wants to kill me. Anyway, so that's skin. So Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and Drunk Elephant Drops. Oh, just got sent a gorgeous Tatcha PR package. So let's try the mist. Apparently it's stunning. Do you like to do a spray before any more product? Should I have done this before? No, I think after is okay. This is lovely. Mm. Okay. Oh my god, it kind of smells like spray tan in a nice way. Like that's giving me great vibes. A luminous dewy skin mist. That's lovely. I do just like to spritz the skin before makeup. That's just a little step I like to do. I have my Cash Beauty sponge here, wet and ready to go. But I am going to apply my foundation with a brush. I just prefer it that way. I feel like I've come back to brushes and I mix between my sponge and my brushes. I'll always use both. The sponge you'll see come in more for blending, but I love applying with brushes. So these are the Sarah Kiri brushes love them another irish brand we love the irish brands girlies where we can so the foundation we're going to use is nars light reflecting foundation shade barcelona i'm looking to shade down this is a little bit dark and you will notice that so i use a concealer to lighten it all so please ignore that the barcelona i got a shade too dark i should have got maybe a stromboli so we're waiting for that to come back and stop so we'll just start over here yeah i love working it in with a brush just kind of pushing it into the skin nice and small Get your ears and get your neck. You gotta blend everywhere. You can see a spot coming up here, but it's okay. We'll conceal as much as we can. So we'll just work our way around, pump by pump, area by area. Get the center. It's best to go center outwards, actually, so don't start like out here, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you're getting it everywhere anyway. Sorry, obviously the mirror is here. It's giving Vogue, it's giving Vogue beauty secrets. Okay, we'll do one more pump for the forehead. So this is, I think, we'll do two pumps actually and just spread it everywhere. I love this foundation. The coverage is very buildable. It's a really dewy, but not too dewy kind of look to it. It's not too glowy because my skin does get oily now that I'm off the pill. So we have to be careful with the T-zone. And then now I'll kind of go in with the nice damp. I love a really damp beauty blender. It's got to be wet, you know, makes everything bouncy and blend much better. I think I, I, do, I, do people use a dry beauty sponge? Personally, no, I can't. That's not for me. 
it's got to be almost dripping wet, you know? You know what? The shade actually isn't too bad. The shade's actually okay. We're okay with that. And I'm now loving doing Flawless Filter on top of foundation and just not in the center, but on like the high points. And then we'll blend it in. This is number four uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter. I need to try the e.l.f. dupe. And with this, I'll bounce this in with the Beauty Blender. And we'll just, just fuse that into the skin because we still want to glow, which is not really in the T-zone, just everywhere else. And we'll powder everywhere that's too shiny. Yeah, I see that spot brown. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's popping off. So I'm about two weeks into my antibiotic for the um, period dermatitis, which is good. It's a good antibiotic, it does help. And hopefully that just sorts it and then I don't let it come back. It's always triggered by like an exfoliant, like anything too harsh in the skin. So I just have to be really careful. So I'll let you know how that goes anyway. Okay, Gorge concealer. I packed three concealers because I just grab, I just go to all of these. At the minute, I'm mainly obsessed with the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. Charlotte Tilbury, shade seven. Love NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, shade Custard. And I also love, for more daytime, I love the Sculpted by Amy Satin Silk in shade Golden. So we're gonna do Charlotte. Let's do Charlotte. I actually just bought a new one of these. This one's kind of running out, but not it's not fully running out yet. So we'll do Under Eye. I'm pretty generous with concealer. You don't really have to be, but I do. I think it just kind of, I just like it for lightening foundation because I know the foundation is probably a little bit orange on my skin. So this will just lighten everything a bit. It will neutralize it. Does that make sense? So it's really, it's really all the T-zone and we'll lift the skin. So I mentioned in my last products video, this is like our little part two. So in the first products video, I mentioned that this kind of like, it's almost like it lifts your face. And that's what Charlotte describes it as like, it's almost like elastic. I can't really explain it, but it looks bouncy and just looks really fresh on the skin. So I'll do Beauty Blender for concealer as well. It's, I find this concealer starts to absorb into the skin pretty quickly. So I feel like I have to work it in quite quick. I feel with the under eye, I used to blend too much, but now I just like press in and then let it be. I used to kind of blend so much that I would be taking the product off my skin is how it felt. So just pushing it in and then moving away from it. So just letting it sit, does that make sense? But can you see it's kind of bouncy? I say that makes no sense. I know that sounds really silly through the camera that looks bouncy, but the skin just looks bouncy to me. That's how I describe that concealer and I really love it. And I couldn't believe Shade 7 was in stock in store online. I'm pretty sure it's gone. So always try in store because you never know. For contour, I always talk about, always, 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 I don't know if I've ever even tried or shown you me trying a different contour wand or contour stick. I absolutely love the Charlotte Tilbury. This is medium to dark. I mentioned it in my last video. I love this contour wand, but I finally got my hands on the Rare Beauty one. So let's do a first impressions. So my go-to ride or die is always the Charlotte Tilbury uh, contour wand, but let's test out the Rare Beauty. It's not the one I wanted. It's actually always sunny, this shade, which looks beautiful. I think that shade looks absolutely stunning. Beauty Guru, I am excited to try this. So let's just do first impressions. So you know what, I'll do it in the, no, I'll do it here. So keep it nice and high. I think that color is Gorge. We won't use too much. You can build this up, you know, with your contour, just go in light. Just, it can be nice and uh, gentle. And I do love a stick form. These wands are fab, but the sponge at the top does annoy people and it can, it can kind of leak. So I'm loving the stick form. Let's do, I always do this kind of cat eye. Just, you just want to be like lifting everything. Does that make sense? I'll do a bit of jaw, just while we're at it. I do like to do these little Kate Moss dots, people call them. Or did I just make that up? Do you know that little hollow? Anyway, let's let's blend and see how she goes. I love the Refi brush for contour or the Beauty Blender, but we'll use this brush and try not to get it into my hair, even though I get it into my hair every time. Okay, this is stunning. Blending out really nicely. Love the color. Oh my God, I love the color. Okay, that color is stunning. I think the other one is something Sol. Am I right in saying that something Sol, like Dissol or something Sol anyway, and people rave about that shade, but this shade is absolutely stunning. Can you see that? I really hope the camera is seeing what I'm seeing because I sometimes record and I'm like, it's stunning and through the camera. I know you're looking at me like, is she okay? I'm really loving this shade, girls, I have to say. Selena Gomez, we heart you. I do absolutely love the Rare Beauty products. Any of them that I do have, I love. Okay. I think that's stunning. Let's blend this side. I'm really happy with that. We could build up more if we wanted. I'm pretty sure Always Sunny, the one I'm using, is a shade darker than the one that's like 
on everyone's wish list. It's like totally sold out. I'm getting this in my hair. Oh my God. But I'm loving this shade. I was scared because I ordered it online. So I was a little bit nervy, but it's gorgeous. I think what we'll do is now let's blend with the blender. Hotel bathroom lighting is usually really dodgy. I actually have this with me. She is an influencer. I got on Amazon, very handy. And like, you don't, you don't have to be an influencer to have a ring light. I remember a few, Chris did I just mess up the lighting? I remember a few Christmases ago, I asked for a ring light from my brother. And like, my family were like, why do you want a ring light? And I was like, oh, like, you know, for like client makeovers. Cause like, yeah, I wanted it for client makeovers, but I wanted it for my own, just like knowing I wanted to do videos, but just like was never gonna voice that. But now it's like so normal to ask for a ring light or get one of these. So you don't have to be an influencer to get one of these, get one of these for your little holiday, for your little bathroom lighting, so handy. And I think everyone, everyone should have one and love one. Don't feel silly buying a ring light. Everyone should have good lighting in their lives. It's Kind of a thing now, but I feel like a few years ago, you, you probably got me, I felt really silly wanting a ring light. Go get your ring lights, girlies. Don't let anybody stop you. I think I'm happy with that contour. You know what, we do a dash more just to, sorry, I move around a lot because I have to look from different angles. Let's just get that really sculpted face in there and then we'll keep going. I am so happy with that contour. That's in, that's like, ooh, I don't know if I can compare yet. They're in high ranks. They're, they're both sitting at a top 10 for me. Wow. The last video I spoke about this is my new blush combo. I got the full size O Blues Rose Drops, which I can't believe I got them. Where did I get them? Space and K. I'll link products below. But everything's linked to my last video anyway. And it doesn't matter. So, mixing these two, this is like a gorgeous color and glow, but not shimmer or iridescent, whereas this adds the shimmer iridescent, and you'll see why. Oh my god, are you dirty? Oh no, have you been dirty this whole time? Was that dirty the whole time? I'm so sorry, I think it might have been. Oh, absolutely love the size of the Rare Beauty. Look at that, look, and the amount of product on it. So this is shade Hope, did I mention that? I have shade Happy as well, but I just always seem to gravitate towards Hope. So you can see the color there, and let's add the, I haven't used, I was using my minis before this. Oh, I was using my mini size before this, but I love to keep minis for their purpose of travel. So I was just using the minis because I hadn't got the full size, but I have the full size of this and we're manifesting DG Bronzy come back and stop. You don't need much of this at all. Like this goes a long way. And like I said in my last video, I keep saying that, but this on summer holidays, I'm so excited for summer skin with these Drunk Elephant products. They're just so beautiful. Love this brush as a blush brush. It is Zoeva 118 Petite Face Finish. I just find, because someone commented on my TikTok saying when they do the Rare Beauty with a sponge, they find it gets splotchy. And I get that. I find that with liquid blushes in general, the brush actually just works better and doesn't take all the product. You know, sometimes the sponge just absorbs all your product and you've, you're left with nothing. Did I even put blush on? Nothing worse because we spend a lot of money on our blushes and our products. So I love a brush and this brush in particular. Oh, I forgot to blend out my nose. Oh my God. Yeah, this brush in particular just doesn't steal all your products. Like it just keeps all the product on your skin. Does that make sense? And then I'll grab the sponge just to blend around it, but not on top of it because I don't want to lose the pigment. So just go around, you get me. Okay, gorge, brows. For five brow gel, I was meant to pick up a new one. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheap, but I actually am dying to get my hands on the Benefit pencil. I was meant to get it today and I forgot. So we'll just do these, but next time, when I finally get the Benefit one, I'll chat to you about that one, because that's that's the one on my list. I usually get my brows from my Laura Ward, she's my angel. So they're kind, they're, when were they last done? Like two weeks ago? No, three weeks ago before Christmas. So we'll just fill in anything that needs filling in, just a little brush. Sand base down at the gym. Should have gone with them, but I wanted to. I wanted to be here and talk to you, girlies. I wanted to have a good makeup chat with the girlies, you know. Okay, how's she looking? So when I get them tinted, they are fresh to death, and then the tint will just fade, obviously. So I'll get them done again soon. I'll get them done for my birthday. It's in a month's time. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that. We're gonna go away. Obviously, we'll do a birthday vlog, birthday trip, all the rest. Anyway, so there, little little brow fill in. I'm not obsessed with the way I do my brows. I'm just not obsessed with my brows in general, but I just don't know what to change. Like, I don't know what can be changed. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Like brows is just not one you want to mess with. You just don't want to don't want to go around fucking with your brows. So no, they're fine. Obviously, I need to powder, but I just always powder at the end because I'll always go back in with cream products and stuff to touch up. So I don't want to powder anything yet. Let's move on to eyes. Eyes. Always the same, but the products kind of change. So really any powder bronzer. So this is just a Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette. This one is the Sunset Dreamscape. 
So we will do the bronzer in it and we'll just put that all over the lid. Like I really don't spend much time on my eyes because heavy eye makeup, I just, it doesn't really suit me. I used to do it all the time, but now I'm just like, no, I'm a soft eye kind of gal. A nice bronzer, a bit of glitter, a bit of eyeliner, a little brown eyeliner and mascara and we're good to go. So we're just blending that in. Nice soft bronze, that's all we need because it's kind of setting the lid as well. It's not going to be all greasy. So just set the lid with the powder. I like to do it with the bronzy powder. We'll go in with our pinky into the nice light brightening shade and I like to go on the inner corner. Get that nice and bright, look nice and awake. Actually, I have a brush for this, do I? No, never mind, I forgot it. But if, if I had just a nice small brush, we could do it with that or do it with your pinky, it doesn't really matter. See that little, just to brighten her up, just, I'm alive, I'm awake. Bright eyed, bushy tail, yeah? See that, see that little glow in there? Very pretty. So my go-to eye at the minute is, one, it's Space Cowboy. It's Urban Decay Space Cowboy. I love it so much. You can see the shimmer, she's very pretty. Or if you couldn't get your hands on that, the Exaggerize, the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerize palette is adorable. So this is very similar to Space Cowboy and it does that same shimmer glitter effect. Similar scene, but we'll do Space Cowboy. Well, I'll just do that. I'll get on my finger and just press it in all over the lid. You can use a brush, but I find your finger just keeps the pigment there, you know. Before I curl my lashes, I'll just do some brown eyeliner. So I've been using and loving the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Coca, number three. And this does not upset my eyes. I'm a leaky eye queen and this is good to me. I'll start outer corner and I'll just start lifting as if it's like almost an, an extended eyelash and just start kind of tracing it out and just, here's Sambe. Hi Sambe. What's up? How'd you get on? Okay, I almost got Q-tips. We have Q-tips, thank God, because I always need Q-tips for doing my liner. So just make sure it's connected. You don't want like the devil horn, you want the cat eye. So sometimes you just have to bring it down a little bit to the lower lid, but I won't go underneath because my eyes will, I'll be leaking brown all night. So just that little bottom corner and get it all blended. Then I'll fill in a bit of the waterline and then just bring it down this way just a little bit, just to elongate the eye. The wing starts kind of below and then you bring it upwards and it just, it won't go, you know, does that make sense? You just want to be like an elongated little cat eye. Curl my lashes, get really close to the root. Can you see how lifted they are? I don't think you can see, but it's, it's good. MAC Extend Play Mascara, I say it every single time. I just love it so much because it doesn't leak on me. But I've realized that mascara leaks on me because I used to always be putting it on my bottom lashes. So I just don't do mascara on my bottom lashes anymore. So hopefully, I think I, I'm actually gonna start wearing other mascaras and hopefully the leaky thing is just cause it's not on my bottom lashes anymore, so it won't leak and we'll see. But anyway, Max Tenet Play is still just my favorite anyway. I love it so much, but I think I will go back to trying other mascaras cause I haven't tried anything else in a long time because of my leaking. So do you see now when the mascara is done, the liner almost just fits in. It just looks like an extra big eyelash almost. Like it just blends in with it. It's not a big crazy wing. It's nice and subtle and gives the like cat eye feline effect. So eyes are done. So I'm just gonna go back in and make sure everything's blended, pressed into the skin. Can go over any areas if it needs more concealer, bronzer, etc. Let's powder. Powder is my favorite part because it really does blur the skin. So let's do that. So my little mini Laura Mercier powder with me. I went away from Laura Mercier powder for a minute and I came straight back. I forgot my powder puff. I do like using a powder puff, but it doesn't matter too much. But I was using the Huda Beauty powder uh, cupcake, but I actually think it was breaking me out. Whereas Laura Mercier, I'll just, we'll bake for a minute. Laura Mercier never, broke me out. So I just came straight back to her because she never let me down. And she blurs the skin and my makeup will last for the night. Just pat her on. Just a light bake, nothing too heavy. We won't even sit for too long. Just like the teaser on the side of the mouth, the under eye, the forehead. And let her sit for a minute. And then we'll blend her out with the same brush. She just blurs everything. Nothing's too shiny, nothing's too glowy. Very cute. Okay, lips. Start my makeup with the Laneige, I forgot. So I'll just put a little bit on, put a little bit on now. I love this stuff so much. My lips have never been chapped since using, I'm obsessed. I also have it in the Balm version. I always have this with me in my handbag in my pocket, I love. It's the most hydrating lip product I've used and I love it so much. So that's a sleep mask, but I use it before makeup anyway. So I'll just rub it in because I don't want the lips to be too greasy because the liner won't stick. So let's just 
rub it in, moisturize with that. My tiny little iconic nude is running so low, and I love it so much. So that's iconic nude all over the lip. The color is just so pretty. It's my fave. Let's do a little bit of Charlotte. Look how she's so nice. Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Kim KW. Hold on. A pale pink gal. Always have and always will be. So this with iconic nude just creates a really pale, perfect lip for me. And then the Dior Maximizer in 010. I'm almost sure it's Halo or something like that. Halo pink, Halo pink, Holo pink. I don't know, but you get the vibe. It's a beautiful, like glittery, you know, the gold one like went really viral. It's the pink version of that and hello, pink is me. I think the gold just wouldn't have worked. Well, no, the gold I'd love and should try, but this one is just a bit more me, so. Oh, can you see how glossy? And it is maximizing, which we love. Like it kind of um, stings a little, not stings, but you can feel it plumping, but it's just the glitter in it. The Oh my God, can you see that? It's so beautiful. Yeah, I'm up, I need to get a new one of this already. It's already really running out. And I never run out of a gloss because I'll just move on from a gloss. This one I cannot move away from. I'm obsessed with it. Just gonna add a little bit more blush. So we'll do a powder blush. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautifying Face Palette. So beautiful. So I'll mix these two. So we get the color and the shimmer. And just on the apples of the cheeks, give a little smile just so you're getting the high point. Right there. Oh, it's beautiful. I love this palette so much. It's gorgeous. I actually do have the hourglass powders, but this one I always seem to grab. I do lots more makeup tutorials, so don't worry. We have so many products to get through, but this is like the main, this is the what's in my makeup bag when I go away, ride or die, can't live without kind of products. We'll do plenty more, so that's that. Let's do a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, my favorite. I'm very generous when it comes to sprays because you just want to feel it on your skin. You know when you spray something and you're like, did that even hit my skin? Did that even touch my skin? So I always kind of, you know, generous, generosity. I'll actually just I mean, go over my neck with my contour brush. Just get a bit more bronzing on there. Make sure it all matches up. Actually, we'll just grab a little bit of the light one and just on the nose. Sometimes I use like one of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light ones for that. So I'm just going to go over the eyeliner ever so slightly. Just to make sure it's, you know, at least noticeable. You still want it like defined and present. Yeah, just go over it a little bit. Go we'll get ready, I'll go get ready. Girlies, we're dressed, we're ready to go. We're gonna go for dinner. This is, are you able to see me? Can't really see me, I'll show you in the mirror. This is Storette's blazer. And little Zara skirt and Zara boots. Nude, nude, nude. So my little Zara pleated skirt and my Storette's blazer and my Zara boots. That's pretty much my regime. Maybe it'll change when it comes to summer, which we'll obviously update. But that is my go-to. That's all my bits. That's how I do my face. So we're going to go for dinner now. I love you so much. I really hope you enjoyed. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. And I love you. Bye.